So it's already been established that it is possible to make thousands of dollars in just one month by making simple videos where you don't even need to get in front of the camera, don't need to spend any money, or even leave your couch. My plan for this video is to start a faceless YouTube channel from scratch starting with zero views, one subscriber, and walk you through the entire process using just one secret tool. Well, I guess it's not a secret really, since it's probably why you clicked this video in the first place. But that one subscriber, I bet, must be a mystery, since it's a new channel. W well, it's me. Come again? Thought I would get the subscriber count going. You know what I mean? In case you're not 100% sure about what a faceless channel is, here's a really good example of one of those in the personal finance space. It's called Practical Wisdom, estimating up to $5,500 for the month. This is what one of the videos look and sound like. Starting a blog is simple. Choose a platform, configure hosting, register your domain, design the web. So it's really just a channel where you don't show your face. And what you actually see on the screen in these styles of videos can vary from a screen recording to photos stock footage, nothing, or a combination of those things. And this style of visuals usually sit on top of a well put together script in the form of a voiceover, in most cases, and some light background music. Because I've seen channels ranging from rain videos to military drones. Now the nice thing about these types of videos is that you can make money from them once you do it right. The most popular way is from YouTube ad revenue, where you get paid each month by YouTube based on the amount of views you were able to get for that period. Now while we will be addressing how to accomplish this, it does take a little bit more time to get monetized because you need to meet the requirements. Which is why we will first look at how to make money with this faceless channel through something called affiliate marketing, which is pretty much you, the YouTuber, earning a commission by promoting a relevant product or service based on what your video is about. For example, it would be like me making a video about, let's say, the time I started a YouTube channel, where I showed everything from designing the actual channel to getting video ideas, creating the video script, even making the YouTube video, and even creating the thumbnails. And doing it all with this one tool called Canva, where I mentioned that the link is the first thing that you'll see in the description below. And so when you go ahead and do that, I get rewarded with a commission for basically showing you how to use this tool to make money at no additional cost to you. So to help out with this channel, how about you go ahead and sign up with that link? Just kidding. But seriously, check out Canva Pro for free with the link below. Mainly because how I'm going to use it for this entire process is going to blow your mind. So once you sign up, the first thing we'll do is to create channel graphics, which is this. But to create the graphics for the YouTube channel, you first need to kind of know what your channel is going to be about. And this is a pretty important step because it is essential to pick a topic that is profitable, something that is also interesting to you, as well as start with a more narrowed down topic, which helps to stand out and get some traction as a new channel. So to pick a topic, if you're not sure about one, you can search on YouTube. And by searching on YouTube, I meant searching on Google. Let's keep it simple and search for something like YouTube niches, where there are several articles here that can give you ideas for different topics, different niches that you can get into. Like this one, which talks about 10 profitable niches. And I like the idea of this one because it doesn't just start with the topic, but niches that have already been proven on the platform to be profitable. And since we're specifically looking at creating faceless channels, you can search for something like best faceless YouTube niches and get more ideas as you pop these in some new tabs. There's one here from Hootsuite that has 14 faceless YouTube channel ideas, which is gonna be really helpful because this one actually goes through some example channels, giving tips on how you can actually get started with this. Not to mention this other one that has 116 best faceless YouTube niches, but you're not limited to doing the research yourself either. You can also simply use Canva to do that like this. That's right, ChatGPT is not the only tool you can use to create AI content. When you sign up and log into Canva, come up to Docs here. When you hit that, there are so many templates here, but you wanna keep things simple. So just hit this first one. And what you wanna click is this plus sign. You see this magic, right? Click that. It gives you an example right here of something that you can see to generate this text automatically. Oh, we don't want it to write five tips right now. We want it to write maybe 10 faceless YouTube niches and then press enter. Let's say you weren't interested in any one of these, 
what we simply want to say using Magic Write again is write 10 more faceless YouTube niches and press enter. And what we should get is 10 more ideas. Actually, it gave me 20. So I'm assuming here what it thought I meant was write 10 more than this one. There's nothing to really complain about here. I got 20 different faceless niches to pick from. Now, what I would suggest because it's a fairly new YouTube channel is to pick one of these topics and get a subtopic. Now, because personal finance is something that I am generally interested in, what I would say is write Oh, I forgot to click magic, right? Right, I have subtopics of personal finance. And Canva was able to give me five subtopics. The plan is to make videos around this subtopic. Now to design the channel, we're gonna use Canva to get channel name ideas. I come back over to Canva, hit the plus sign and magic right, and say something like write 10 channel name ideas. Well, that management mightn't be the most interesting topic, but it's just an example I'm using here. Here we have 10 debt channel ideas. I also repeated that again and got these 10. I did say we were popping in Canva for channel name ideas as well as to design the YouTube graphics. So to do that, go over to the Canva's main page and hit create a design. Start typing YouTube and you'll see some suggestions show up here. What we'll be creating is a YouTube banner as well as a YouTube thumbnail. So first let's do the banner. On the left hand side, we'll see all of these different templates to choose from. Now to narrow down the focus in terms of the style of the banner, I would search for something like maybe, let's say finance. So we'll have design ideas along the line of finance right here. You don't have to do that, but I just think it might save some time. I'm kind of liking this one. Let's see how this one looks. So finance channel, let's build wealth. I'll just rename this to one of the names you got over in Canva, the other tab. This Maybe this one called debt rescue. So I'll paste that into there. Make some minor changes, maybe increase the size of this. I don't think this looks more or less good to start with. What I don't like so far is this background because it doesn't really say anything about debt management. It's more like saving money. Just pop over on this side and hit photos and maybe search for debt management and let's see what shows up. There is a lot of uh, depressing photos here, but applicable because it is the type of channel that we're going to create. I'm liking this one. The challenge is that I can't see the feature image in the background. So maybe what I can do is just highlight this, bring it up, and maybe do a slight effect on the image. Hit edit image and see all to make the adjustments and choose this vignette. And with that slight effect now, we're good to go with this. When you're ready, just hit this download button and save that somewhere. And then now for the profile. So YouTube profile. What you can do is pick just one of these templates Keeping it simple and we'll change the image in the middle by coming down to photos and searching for debt. Maybe this one. Just take that and drag it in the middle here. So you see it, it automatically frames in the middle there. If you wanted to move this around, just double click it, highlight the word debt in the middle there. I think that looks good. So the profile photo is done. Download that. Now that we've done that, it's time for video ideas. Go back to the Canva document tab and ask for video ideas. Okay, so back to this tab here, plus sign, magic right. Write five video ideas about debt management. Let's see what five ideas we're gonna get. And just like that, we have five video ideas that we can proceed with. I am liking this one here about debt management tips, but for some reason, the personal debt stories usually get more engagement. People are more interested about hearing stories of how somebody else struggles and how they got through that. The only challenge here is that we can't name that video personal debt story. We need to come up with some video titles for this. So what I did was give the command write 10 YouTube video titles about a personal debt story. And I got these options to choose from. Keeping in mind that none of these is my story, I still like the title, How I Paid Off 25,000 Debt in 6 Months. So I'll pick this one, but simply modify the I to somebody's name in the story that I'm going to create. When you find a title that you like, the next thing is to just ask for a video script. What I'm going to do is give this command here. And how I came up with this is I simply said to write a detailed YouTube video script about, let's say how Jean paid off 25,000 of debt in six months. And to make sure that the video script already includes the details of what was originally suggested by Canva, which is this personal debt story, I copied and pasted this. So maybe I can say feature Jean who has successfully managed their debt, etc. What I'll do is copy this, hit the plus sign and hit magic right. And I'll simply paste this into here. 
And just like that, I now have a detailed video script to use, which I will of course review and make any modifications if needed, but I did so far and it seems good, so I'll just copy this and move on to the next step. Next, we're gonna make the video now with stock footage photos, some simple effects, some light background music, and even a voiceover, all in Canva. Now back to Canva's main page, come up to create a design, and search for YouTube video. When you click that, they'd have a whole bunch of different templates that you can use, so you're not actually doing anything from scratch unless you want to. For simplicity, we're just gonna pick one of them here, like this one. Maybe not the best example, but hey, we're gonna make it work. And from our title, we're gonna take that from the document, which was how Jane paid off a lot of money. So we paste that there and just make some simple adjustments for this to fit on the screen. And I wanna add in some other stuff into this scene. So it's for credit card, the graphics here. Drop this onto the scene, pull that up and put it somewhere that makes sense, if it even makes sense in this scene. And to animate this when it actually comes onto the screen, all you need to do is hit animate. Maybe you want it to fade on. I think I like the baseline. And what we wanna do is create a next page, which is pretty much just continuing the video from that 5.7 second intro. And what we're gonna do now is create a voiceover based on this detailed script that we're gonna base the rest of the video on. So to do this, you're gonna come up to here, hit that button, more, Click present, present and record, then hit next. Follow the on-screen instructions to go to the recording studio. And you're not using a camera, we're just using voice here. Then hit start recording. But as soon as it starts, you're gonna wanna pause it by coming up to here and hit pause. Because you're not just gonna be talking about a bunch of stuff, you're gonna be talking based on what you're seeing on the screen. So what we wanna do is paste the script onto this right-hand side here that says add notes to your design. I'm gonna copy this entire script and then paste it right here. So I'm basically gonna just be reading this while it's recording. Just keep in mind, I will just be reading a sample of this so you understand how this works. Hit resume and let's go. Today we're discussing how to pay off debt quickly and successfully. End recording. And once that is done, I'll just hit save and exit. That audio recording can now be located in uploads under audio. That's this one right here. All you need to do is click it and it comes onto the scene right there. And the best thing is really to not make any mistakes, but like 99% of people obviously will make some mistakes. But if you want to edit all those mistakes or dead air, you just have to right click here, click split audio, where you can easily drag and close off any dead air spaces. And since we have the intro to the video and the voice, we need to now have some video clips and photos and stuff like that on the screen. What we need to make sure of is that the photos we decide to choose as well as the video clips goes with the voiceover that we just created. So I'll just go ahead and pick some quickly. Under videos, I'll search for debt. And since we're talking about Jane, we should pick a woman. So I'll choose this one here, drop that onto the screen. And using some keywords from the script, I'll use that for finding the right content. Budgeting is one of them. So I'll come here again now and type budgeting. Maybe take this first one, use that for a few seconds. We can also try some photos to address this part about paying off a large amount of debt. So perhaps search for huge debt. I think this photo seems appropriate here. So click this one and drag it onto the timeline. And another clip, this one that says pay off debts, which is ideal for this. Go back into videos and search for something like debt free. Because we mentioned that at the end of this short script, search for debt free. And I kind of like this one here. So we we'll just click that one, carry down the duration. Maybe a little bit from the beginning as well, where we started to erase the debt. And I did promise to show you how you can create an AI photo using text to image. AI text to image. So come over to apps and you'll see this feature tool called text to image. Click that, hit use. And all you have to do here is type what you would like to see. Maybe woman celebrating paying off debt and hit enter. And in just a few seconds, we just received an image, a unique image with four options to choose from the reaction of a woman celebrating paying off debt. I like it, so I'll just click and drag this one right here. And now let's make some final changes. We're clicking the voice over here, and just by seeing this, you can see this line that shows where the voiceover stopped. So we need to carry down some of these clips. Maybe this one a bit. Also, we wanna add some transition, some effects to this, to the photos mainly. So when you click the photo, you go up to animate, and you're gonna see the effects now by just hovering over it. I like this one, so I'll hit breathing. There's this other photo, and I think I'll just pick the same thing for consistency. You can also get transitions to each of these scenes by clicking in the middle of each one, add transition. And we want really short transitions. So when you click add transition, 
I like this match and move one so I'll click that one there and add that to basically all of them. And now for the last thing for the video is to add some light background music. So just come over to audio and you can pick any of the categories here or you can just search for something. I just searched for story and you can just pick any one of these that you think is suitable. I think this one sounds kind of suitable. I should have taken some more time with this but to speed up the video, I'll just pick this one. Pull this from to the beginning of the video, drag it to the end. And we want to make sure that the background music is actually in the background. So I'll right click that, hit volume, carry that down to like maybe 20. And so the video looks more or less ready. Let's see how it looks and sounds. Today we're discussing how to pay off debt quickly and successfully. We've all heard about debt consolidation and budgeting. But did you know that it is possible to pay off a large amount of debt in a short amount of time? Now that the video is done, what we'll need to get clicks onto that video is a captivating thumbnail. So let's go back in Canva again to get that done. Go straight back in Canva on the homepage, head up to create a design and type YouTube thumb. So hit YouTube thumbnail. And what we want to do here is look for a template that we can quickly start from. Something that kind of speeds up the process. And what I'm looking for is a template that shows somewhat of a before and after. Especially since I'm talking about how I, or in this case Jean, Jean paid off 25,000 in debt in six months. We want to show something like, like 25,000 in the beginning and then zero dollars in the right hand side. So I already stumbled across something here that can give me that head start. This versus. So I'm going to make this template work. So I'll change this to $25,000. I don't like this font for this topic. So I'll immediately change that to something like this. Space that out. Make it a little bit bigger. And I'll press this button to duplicate it. Bring this one over here. I'm going to remove what was there before. And this one is going to say $0. Make this one a little bit bigger because we're proud of that $0 now. Maybe even bigger than that. Now head over to Photos. Actually, how about we use AI to create these images? So I'll click Text to Image and I'll type Sad Woman in Debt on a Red Background. And let's see what we get here. I think this one could work. Let's drag and drop that there. We'll have to make some changes to make this text show better. But for now, let's move on to another image. So let's start again and maybe we'll call that one Happy Woman Celebrating Debt Free on a Green Background. And I think this one can work. So we'll just take that and drag and drop it right there. We need to move this around a little bit. Just double click that, bring that up there, as well as this photo. There's actually a text effect to make this pop easier. And that's by hitting effects and choosing background. And we can make the changes of the spread here, adjust the transparency. And I'm thinking to duplicate this and say something below like debt. Make this box a little bit smaller. Or I can just change the effect entirely by hitting effect maybe shadows, choosing a black, as well as changing the color of the text. Maybe orange is more suitable. And then I'll take this box, duplicate it, and move it over to this side. Call this one debt free. It's really easy to customize this. And instead of verses, I want to drop an arrow there. So I'll run a search for arrow. And this one already stands out, so I'll just go with that one. Adjust it to the screen, remove this other thing in the background. And that's it, this thumbnail is more or less done. And that's it, we're done using that one to one tool. Using the video ideas that I already have, what I would do next is to repeat the process from getting the titles, making the script, all the way through to creating thumbnails right here in this tool. But then I would find a product or two which would allow me to start making money, possibly from even my very first upload. And I show you how I did that right here.